Hi, um, we are on our video number two um, in our series on Max Lucado's book, You'll Get Through This. And chapter one opens up and it introduces us to Joseph. And yesterday we talked about how very often the assaults that we face come as a complete surprise. These pits often become prisons that reduce us to one quest, never, or to get out and to never be hurt again. And that's not simply done. And it also causes a hardened heart, which prevents us from being all that God calls us to be. And pits have no easy exits. Joseph's story went from bad to worse. We see that he was abandoned, and then he was enslaved, and then he was entrapped, and finally he was imprisoned. But he didn't give up, and neither can we. Bitterness never staked a claim in Joseph's life. During that story that we read in Genesis, we never hear or read about him being bitter. He never got angry. He never hated. Basically, Joseph's heart never hardened during all that he endured, and his resolve never vanished. You know, Joseph didn't just eke out a meager existence in all of the situations that he was put in. He survived and he thrived in all of those situations. When he died, Joseph was the second most powerful man of his generation. So the question is, how did he survive and flourish in the midst of his tragedies? or in the midst of his pit or his situation. Uh, we are reading from the book Max uh, by Max Lucado, you'll get through this. And Max says, how did he survive in this tragedy? We don't have to speculate. Some 20 years later, the, ro the roles were reversed. Joseph as the strong one and his brothers as the weak ones. They came to him in dread. They feared that he would settle the score and throw them into a pit of his own making. But Joseph didn't. And in, and in his explanation, we find his inspiration. In Genesis 50, 20, it says, As for you, you meant a evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring about this present result, to pers preserve many people alive. See, in God's hands, intended evil becomes an eventual good. God redeemed the pain. The torn robe, it became a royal one. The pit became a palace. The broken family grew old together. The very acts that were intended to destroy God's servant turned out to strengthen him. You meant evil against me, Joseph told his brothers, using a Hebrew verb that traces its meaning to weave or to plait. You wove evil, he was saying, but God rewove it together for good. And that's what God can do to the evil that has befallen you or to the tragedies or to the trials that have befallen you. Put into the hands of the master weaver, our God, our King, those evils or those things that the enemy meant for negative things or for harm, God can weave together for good. So I just want to encourage you with that today, that if you're walking through something, put that in the hands of the master weaver and watch the tapestry and how it changes into something for good, for your blessing, a purpose for your pain. God bless and have a great day.